Hello and welcome. My name is Tony Amos. I'm with Electronic Signs and this video is to show you how to crop and resize an image in MS Paint. That's so that whenever you upload an image to your electronic sign, the image is of the correct size. So for example, if it's too big, it will crash your sign. And also if uh, and the optimum size to display beautifully on your sign. If you already have graphic design skills, you don't really need to watch this tutorial. Um, using Photoshop, for instance, you just all you need to know is the image is optimum size 256 times 128 pixels. And you really don't need to watch the rest of this tutorial. But for the rest of most of us who have never cropped or resized an image before, I'll show you now how to use software that's freely available on your computer uh, rather than paying for expensive software like Photoshop to be able to quickly resize your images. So let's start, shall we? Firstly, you'll have your images stored on your computer. For the benefit of this tutorial, I've actually stored mine on a USB drive. And I want to upload this image here of the high school students in a library. So the first thing I always do is make a copy of the image obviously so that you're not impacting on your original image. Copy and paste. You may have your own methods for copying files on your computer. So here is the image that I'm playing with. So you put your mouse over your image and right click your mouse and look for open with menu and here it is open with paint that immediately opens the free paint software available on your computer and you're right to go. So the image has been uploaded. You need to use this little zoom, up, zoom out here so you can see your image the way it needs to be seen to work on it. So here's a photo of our lovely kids. Um, it's very important that your image is the correct size. If you look down here, I'll read out these numbers in case you can't see them on the video. This image is currently 4992 times 3328 pixels. That's almost a 5 to 3 ratio and it's also a very large file. However, the files that you upload to your sign ideally should be 256 pixels times 128. That is a massive difference in size. So we need to make this photo 256 times 128 pixels. So let's do that. We click on our image, then we click resize. Uh, you don't want percentage, you want pixels. You always want to maintain the aspect ratio because if you just entered 256 times 128, it's likely that um, if your photo is not already in a 2 to 1 ratio, you're going to squash, squash the kids' faces and it just won't look good. So maintain your aspect ratio and all you do is enter the top one, which is 256 and that automatically makes the vertical 170. It's all about ratios. And click OK. Can't see the phone anymore, so let's just zoom it once again. And there we go. So again, we need this image to be 256 by 128. If you look down here, it is now 256 times 170 pixels because the aspect ratio was maintained. So what that tells me is the 170 means that this sign is too high. So instead of being a 2 to 1 ratio, it's like a 2.2 to 1.2. Don't um, test me on my maths. So the way you manage to... So what we want to do is crop this photo so it is the right size. We've got lots of space with the books up here to um, get a really good shot. So to crop, you actually go into this rectangle tool, pick rectangular section. We can crop it from here, for example. And as I'm doing it, you can see the numbers down the bottom on the left-hand side adjusting. So drag your mouse all the way out to the side because we know we've already got the right width, which is 256. And then we want 128. At the moment, it's showing 113. So we can take it down a little bit more to 125, close enough. And then you click Crop. And now you have a perfectly sized image to upload to your sign. 
It is right size 255 times 125 pixels, close enough to 256 times 128, a 2 to 1 ratio, and none of the image has been warped or distorted. So you obviously need to save your file, save as, again I'm saving on my USB drive, I'm going to call it high school students, and then what I always do at this point, which is really good practice, 256 times 128, the size is close enough, and save it as a JPEG file, and save. And there you have it, you have your resized image, and you have a new skill, congratulations. So now let's show how that uploads onto our site. So um, you've seen this tutorial before. So remember we go into media, upload media file, we're in our USB drive, and that's the one we want there. High school students, 256 times 128, that's the correct size, and open. And it's the right size, it's all uploaded really easily and really well. So um, the system likes this photo, which is great. So now let's have a go at um, uploading the photo. So I always go back to Terminal Control, the home page. We go into Programs, Add Advanced Program, and there you go, Width. That's the whole um, pixel measurements that we've been talking about, 256 times 128 for the sign, OK. And there's our image. Let's see what it looks like on the sign. And there you have it on the sign. Now, because this has been resized correctly, the 2 to 1 ratio, as soon as you take it out to the whole real estate of the sign, it's actually perfectly proportioned. And that's what you want. You want as much of the sign real estate to be covered as possible. Just for the sake of it, I do have another, actually, I'll try this one, a tree image test. This is a photo I saved previously, just so you can see how it works. Uh, this was ideally, because it's a Christmas tree, it's not a two to one ratio where it's horizontal, it's basically a portrait instead of a landscape. So it is the right size, so it's possible to upload it to the sign, um, but of course it's not using all the sign real estate. You would really only use a photo like that if you had one on that side and then you created another layer and put another portrait photo on the other side. So that is one way to do it. I mean, ideally you crop it so it is landscape, but it's a Christmas tree, so it, that is not the sort of photo that, that you would crop. So there you go. Uh, that's how you upload an image um, in the optimal fashion to your electronic sign. And thank you for listening.